Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to show you some more stuff here in Snapseed. But the thing is, I got called away for a long time and so I can't really remember what I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the little icon on the top left that looks like some pages with an arrow on top of it. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on review or view edits. And now I can see what I did. I did details, I tuned the image, I cropped it. So let's just see if I made it better yet. So here's the original. And here's the new one. So yeah, I think it's better. Okay, so great. Now I know what I did. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on tools. And I think I'm going to show you three different things here. The first thing I'm going to show you is perspective. So I'm going to tap on perspective and um, you see there's these different things that you can do. Um, so you can tilt it that way if you want, which is kind of good, right? Because it makes it much more dramatic. You can tilt it the other way, which is also kind of good. Or you could do something really pretty weird and tilt it more up, which is what I thought that I really liked. And what is that stuff in the sky? Um, that's a little concerning. And you can also, no, maybe not. Okay, so um, I don't really know what that is in the sky, but I'm just gonna say that I, I like this uh, because it is certainly more dramatic, so yeah. Now, if I wanna see what that is in the sky, what I can do is I, bring my fingers apart. And so I guess the weirdo tilting of it put like part of the roof. Oh, la yeah, look, look how weird it is. So um, if you want to see things up close, there's that little box right in here and you can just move your finger around in the little blue box and that shows you what you're looking at. So you can see like I kind of went out of control and I got weirdo thing is going on in the barn there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back now to um, the view edits. I'm going to come up here to perspective. I'm going to click on the little um, arrow there and I could either try to fix it or I can just get rid of it. So now it's gone. I go back up to the arrow on the upper left and now you can see there's no weirdness going on up here. <laughs> okay, so um, I was going to try it again with the perspective. I just like I don't know. I just got out of control. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit, cause and I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit up and down, because I just um, when I did it a minute ago, I liked that a lot. So okay, I'm gonna say yes, and then um, back to my tools. Um, so that was perspective. I wanted to show you the brush tool because this is pretty cool. The other things we've done so far changed everything in the picture, but this is the way to change things just a little bit. So you have these options here, dodge and burn, which is um, it's like changing the exposure, but not quite so drastically. You have exposure. You have temperature and you have saturation. So um, let me just show you, like here's dodge and burn. It's just you have a little more control. So it's gonna lighten it up down here, but it's not gonna be so um, dramatic. You're gonna have to mess with it more if you wanna lighten it up. Um, I don't really wanna do that, so go back to brushes. And um, if I show you with the exposure, so the exposure is actually set lower than the dodge and burn, but you can see how quickly it um, ramps up your exposure. So you have a little less control with exposure than you do with dodge and burn. So what I can do here, if I wanna get rid of that without just having to close it, I can push on my little down button there. So now I'm pushing on the up button and I'm up to one like the most you can expose it. And if I do on the down button, I can get down to a racer and then I can just take out everything I did. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna change the temperature of the saturation. I'm actually pretty happy, I think. Um, maybe I'll just try making the exposure, make the sky a little darker. 
So I turned down the exposure so I would get this really crazy dark sky. Okay, and then I'm gonna say okay. Um, all right, back to tools. And I wanted to show you the blur. So there's more tools down below. So if you just swipe up, you'll get to these other tools. So here's the lens blur. And um, so maybe I really want the flowers to be in focus and the barn to be out of focus. So I can make the, the focal point smaller. Um, I have these other sliders. I can go to transition. I can make that smaller too. So there's an even smaller amount that's in focus. And I have vignette strength and I can make that stronger where it just gets even more dark and indistinguished on the outside. So I, I don't think I want to go that far because I want it to be, you know, more like it was a real picture. So right now I've got my focus on the flowers, but I can just hold on to that little blue dot. Yeah, just hold on to that little blue dot and drag it up here. And now the barn doors are in focus. I can make that edge in focus. Whatever I want to make in focus, I just can put that wherever I want. Okay, so now I'm going to say, yeah, I like that, I guess. And then I want to go back and look at all the edits I've made so far. So I'm going to click on the thing that looks like pages with an arrow. And I'm going to go to view edits. So I have lens blur, brush, perspective. So I can just, if I click on brush, that eliminates the lens blur. It's not gone, I just don't see it. Here, eliminated the perspective, the um, darker sky. So let's go back. This was what I did final, and here's my original. Okay, so that's some more things you can do. Let's say you want to save this. Um, you go to export, and then you've got some choices. You could just share it right away if you wanted, or you can save it, and this saving it um, saves it with changes that you can undo. Save a copy creates a copy with changes you can undo, and export creates a copy with um, permanent changes. So I'm going to save a copy that has changes I can undo because I might come back and work on it again for you. All right, so that's three more tools that now you know how to use. Thanks.